Good morning, class, and welcome to your virtual course, Math 45. My name is Dr. Raipur, and I'm very happy to have you here in this class. Here's the home page of Canvas for your course. I have sent several emails, and I hope you've had a chance to explore them. The way I've set up the course is very simple. All you have to do is just to go to this home page and follow everything from number one on. So number one, there is a welcome message welcoming you to the course. Number two, it's a class philosophy. If you read that in short, it says this is a community and we are here to help one another and we should ever respect everybody. And as long as we follow uh, that etiquette, everything will be fine. The next one, number three is the announcements. Let me put this in student view. And whether you click on this announcement here or the announcement on the left navigation bar, just make sure that you are remaining in the same course in case there's a broken link. And so there were several announcements. There was a recorded orientation, a similar question uh, previously, welcome and orientation, which tells you when the orientation is, exemption to orientation. Some students followed that, they couldn't make it today. And there were uh, several emails welcoming you to the course. You can find them all under the announcements. The next one is number four. So what do we cover under number four? The syllabus modules, which gives us the practice test, the PowerPoints, keys to PowerPoints, homework. Let me go over this note. This is an extremely important note for the homework. Homework is set up such that you watch some video lectures, lessons, assessments before starting each homework. Practice test keys. We have the discussion forum exams and at the bottom you have the office hours with the link and the time office hours for this semester on the Wednesday 2 to 3 30 Tuesday th Thursday 8 to 9 a.m. So that's the synopsis of that let's explore one by one let's start with the syllabus Since syllabi are getting longer and longer, I've decided to put them in this format so you can go to the topic of interest, but I wanna spend a couple of minutes going over the whole thing. First, we have the uh, course, the section number, student learning outcome. The text, you can find it here or under my open mat. When we go there, I'll show you, it's all free. Uh, the online assignments is done in my open math, which is short mom. I'm going to refer to it from now on. And everything is given to the students for free. Class calendars talks about the orientation, which is today. And then the exams. I've set up the exam such that every exam takes place on Saturday, simply because I want you to be relaxed. And I want you to do your best. And the day before that, on Fridays, I do have the exam reviews. Of course, uh, practice test exam reviews are already recorded and posted. If I get enough students, I go over them again. And I will record and post them in case you can't um, attend the exam reviews on Fridays. You don't have to worry about them. As far as the exams are concerned, I want you to be very careful with that. You really want to pay attention to the fact that uh, there is no proctorial exam. Attending review sessions is highly recommended to succeed in the course. However, all exam reviews are recorded and posted under the recorded practice test lectures tab in Canvas. And I will be available during the designated exam review sessions to answer any questions in case, you know, 
you have a question, you're more than welcome to stop by besides the office hours. All exams expires at 11.59 on their uh, due date. However, it's important to know that you really have to spend a couple of hours to do the exam. So you want to you want to start them as early as possible because if you start them late, you won't have enough time to do the exam. Then we have meeting, important dates, calculators. You uh, can use a graphing calculator for certain exams, maybe not all of them. Take support from my open math or Canvas or for the campus, if you will. MSC short for Math Success Center. And this is their website if you need their time and uh, uh, location, if you will. There are uh, helpful websites here and a grading policy. Homework is worth 200 points. There is no time limit as long as it's done before the due date, you get the full credit. So in the past, most students uh, have got 90, 95% at least, you should nail that. The discussion forum, there are five of them. Each one is 20 points, giving you 100 points total. There are four exams, each one is worth 100 points and the comprehensive final. I wanna go over the comprehensive final because sometimes students are scared when they hear that. It's probably the simplest exam you take because 70% of it comes from the previous exams. All you have to do, study the previous exams plus the new chapter or module if you will. 90%, 900 points or above is A, 80%, that means 800 points or above is B, so on and so forth. There is no makeup uh, unless something comes up and you have a documentation accepted by campus. Also, the first four exams, the lowest of the four, I will drop and I re replace it with the final score percentage-wise, as long as your final score is good, meaning 80% or higher. Your homework and discussion board also have good grades, 95% or higher. And this action will result in a higher letter grade. Uh, there is no course late work policy. You can do it for some of the homework assignments. You get 10% penalty for that. But on a normal basis, if you do that, you may have a hard time catching up. There is no late work for discussion forum or the exams. Uh, time frame for exams, inquiries within 24 hours maximum, I get back to you. Those of you who've been in contact with me, you know that. The CSU LB study 36 refers to the fact that we need three hours per unit to be successful. This is a four unit course. So we need three times for 12 hours of study to be successful. Uh, dropping uh, students who uh, miss this orientation, do not start with mom, the publisher, my open math immediately or miss any of the exams will be dropped. Then I have more uh, useful uh, information such as DSPS and financial aid. I wanna go over the summary steps to success. You wanna study the PowerPoints uh, in each module, do your homework before the deadline. And to do that, you can watch the video lectures that embedded in homework or prior to that. Study practice test, post questions in the discussion forum, send your questions via Canvas, uh, inbox or campus email, uh, attend the review session or watch the uh, recorded session, take the exam by the due date. Here's the uh, office hours that I have here and I'm gonna, um, remind you that also at the bottom of the home page of Canvas, you can find it. This is important. I didn't want you to miss that. So I put them in both places. And then I have more, uh, you know, websites such as basic needs, justice, scholar programs. And this is what I want to discuss. I want to take a minute to go over an etiquette for online learning in short, we are here to learn. So we uh, want to be professional. We want to be courteous. We want to make sure that this is a college course. So we use correct spelling and grammar. We want to have a positive tone, follow the guidelines of the discussion board. And uh, in short, 
we want to be respectful of others and their time. So please take a look at that and follow it. Going back to the syllabus, the second one is a calendar. It's an Excel calendar that gives you the date of the exams. As you can see, all of them are set up for Saturday. And the sections that you need to be covering before it gets too late, as long as you are following that or you're ahead by a section, you are in good shape. Going back to the homepage, the next one is the modules. I want to quickly tell you what you can find under the modules. The first thing is, it says my open math, access your online homework, no need for course ID to log on to mom. Pay attention to this. If you click on this, it asks you for username or password. If you have an account, if you don't, you create an account, please do so. The only thing, make sure when you put your name, the first and the last name, put uh, uh, capital initial. So the first thing is to register with my open. What do you find next? I want to go over the rest of it. Exam one module, exam two, exam three, exam four module, and then module five, which is the last one covered in the final exam. And this one is sort of some resources about TI calculator, which gives you the following, pay attention to that. It gives you some TI commands. Also, it gives you a chance to go to YouTube, watch this and see if you can download the emulator for a TI calculator. If it works out and sometimes it doesn't, it will look something like this. It looks like this, okay? So you can get that. Uh, and there are other online calculator uh, and resources online, okay? And there are uh, many more I will also show you. I will also show you uh, when I go to my open math. So there are many, many online calculators. You don't have to pay for that. That's the point. I don't want my students to pay for anything. Going back to the modules. So again, the bottom one, some resources. The first one, when you do the homework. Now I'm gonna go over exam one module and the rest of them repeat are very similar. You start with a practice test, and I'm going to tell you why this is the case. All you have to do, read this, spend a few minutes, and this is a live document I may be adding to that. Okay. So take about five minutes and read this just to see what's coming up for the first module and the first exam. The next one gives us the PowerPoints. These are my PowerPoints. And all you have to do, click on the first one. If you download and put them in slide mode, when you get to a topic, it does it line by line. For example, you get to this example, it doesn't give you the whole page. It just, it just gives you the question and then step by step solution. This is the way to get that. So we have the practice test. We have the PowerPoints. We're going to watch the PowerPoints to get ready for the exam, uh, for the homework and the exam. I'll, I'll, I'll show you how the homework is done when we go to my open mat. And look at the next one. This one is the key to practice this. So over here, we had the practice test. Then we had the PowerPoints. Then we have the key to the practice test. We have just about everything. 
also, if you look at the left navigation bar where it says recorded practice test lectures, this one is my YouTube channel. And it has all those practice test solutions step by step done and recorded. This is what I mean. The recording is already available. And on those uh, Fridays before the exam that we have exam review, if you like, if you show up, I will do more reviewing for you. But all the exam reviews are posted here. So, we have the practice test here. We have the PowerPoints to get us ready to do the practice test and the homework. We have the key to practice test and right on the recorded practice test lectures we have. my YouTube channel, which has all those practice tests. On the recorded practice test, we have what's called Math Success Center. If you need tutoring, you can go to Math Success Center right from here. Explore this and find who, how you can get tutoring from Math Success Center, or even Net Tutor, which is available after hours. Going back to the home page. I want to look at the discussion forum class. The first one is student bios. I put mine as a sample. I suggest you put yours so your fellow students get to know you. And if you want to reply to anyone, please do so with respect, of course. The next one is called frequently asked questions. In the past, when students had questions, I gather them here. And if anything else comes up, I put them here. For example, how do we use a math editor? Do I need a course ID? No, because for my mom or my open math, because we register via Canvas. Tech support, more information, how to use a late pass on and so forth. The last one, because it came up uh, uh, often and I don't know why, where to find the exam password. Announcements with the exam title are emailed to students and have all the information, including the exam passwords. This will be sent to students on the week of exam on the week of the exam. So under the discussion forum, we have those two. And then we have module one, two, three, four, five. Each one is worth 20 points. These are graded. So let's see what you need to do. The first one, for example, <clears throat> you really want to read and follow the instruction here. You are required to post at least one question and its solution either from practice test number one posted under the modules or any source of your choice. The point being, find a question that pertains to the first module. You can find it from any source, as long as it pertains to the first module. If you can't find it, you can even use the practice test. That's fine. Now, here's how you get the, you must read all the posts and make sure not to duplicate any questions. Similar questions are accepted. So number one, read all the post questions and solutions posted by others first and pick a different one. No duplication is allowed. A question with one word solution, one line solution or definition is not accepted and results in zero points. This will give you 10 points if done properly. So there are two steps to that. You wanna write the question with details. And if you're picking it up from practice test or somewhere from homework, write down the question number. Show all the steps using the math equation editor. If you can't use that, you want to uh, embed an image solution. It has to show formulas 
and mathematical process. Number two, find a similar problem online or on YouTube or Khan Academy and post. This is gonna give you five points. And finally, you wanna comment. When you comment on a student, a fellow student question or YouTube, you wanna write what you learned, okay? So explain about what the question addressed and what you learned from it. And outline a few steps you learned as a result. A compliment is nice, but is not a comment. You can't say, thank you so much, I learned a lot. That's not what I'm looking for. And to receive credit, you have to write the name of your classmate. That gives you five points, 10, five, five, total of 20 points. This is a simple example I put up. I'm solving this equation. I'm multiplying by LCD. I go through the process and I show you step-by-step step with mathematical steps. Then I pick a similar question from YouTube. And then I'm, you, I'm commenting on somebody's work Okay, I'm saying the post was about solving an absolute value equality. What did I learn? When solving an absolute value equality or inequality, the first step is to isolate the absolute value expression on one side before solving it. So I'm explaining to the reader what I learned from what I watched or read. Uh, if you want to embed an image, I to, uh, I'm telling you how to do that. If you want to use the math editor, I tell you how to do that. Either one, either use the math editor or use uh, the process of embedding an image. So that's the first discussion for them. As long as you're done with the first one, you know exactly what to do with the rest of them. They repeat in the same manner. You answer a question from the same section. The only thing left to discuss is my open math and how it works. So after you register with my open math, It takes you here. The very first thing I want you to do is to start with mandatory assignment. I'm gonna go over that. I'll show you how it works. And this is how all your homework will work. This is due uh, pretty soon and you wanna do it immediately. When you click on that, There are several questions, 13 questions to get you familiar with my open math. That's the purpose of this and how to input information. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. For example, the first one, it says enter this number. If I click on this, then math editor shows up. I can use a fraction bar. If I wanna raise something to the power, if I wanna take a root, so on and so forth. So I hope you see that it's really helpful. So all I wanna do, Put this number in 45.1482. I did that. Then the second one says, round it to the nearest hundred. So we want two decimals. So 45.1. The next number is four. Now, four, if next to it is a number less than five, you keep it. If it's five or higher, you take it up. So I'm going to take it up to five because I want to go with two decimals. Can I divide by zero? No. Numbers, when we divide them by the zero, they be, become undefined. And by the way, pay attention here. They don't have undefined here. So we say does not exist. Now, oh, does not exist. I, I clicked it two times. So when you get here, all you have to do, click submit and see the check mark shows that we've come up with the correct answer. Uh, just for the sake of argument, if I wanna answer this one, I can say one third, you know, it's 0 0.3 bar, so I can put maybe four of them and submit question. And notice it check marks, that means I've done it right. My point being, if it's not right, 
I can choose a different question. What happens, and the same thing happens with all your homework. Uh, something comes up, I can't continue. If you go up here and click on done, it shows the first one is done. And I got full credit for it. The second one is done and I got full credit for it. And it shows my points here. And if I go to my grade book, I have this point already registered for me. I don't have to do anything else. However, as long as I come back here before the due date, I can resume. And I will continue if I resume. I see those questions that I've done right. And I will continue. Or I can exit. And that's exactly what happens with all of your homework. So I want you to pay attention to this. What is next would be the exams. And I don't want you to worry about that at all. I will send you the information about the exam. I put the exam also at near the top because I don't want anybody to have a hard time finding it. Then we have a course description. And what I want you to notice besides explaining about the course, this is what is important. For most sections of the text, you will find two assessments. Video assessments, these assessments contain video lessons. After each video, there is one or two questions that correspond with the examples in the video. Practice slash homework assignments. These assessments contain additional problems beyond the types covered in the video lessons. The assessments are intended to serve the role of homework. The next one is this calendar. Let me first show you if I change it, let's say to two, that shows me two weeks of work. But four is a norm. I'm going to go back to the four. The very first thing I want you to know, the first homework is due here. If you click on it, it shows up also here. So you can start here or go to the top and start it. Here's the exam. The first one. And right before that, these are all the assignments. Why is it right before that? Everything is due before the exam. But do you have to wait until that day to do that? If you do that, you will never, ever catch up. How do you do that? You do one section at a time. Every day, all you have to do is spend an hour, 30 minutes, an hour, an hour, an hour and a half, and do one section. Look at the PowerPoint, the recording, and then come and do the homework. Then what do you see? You see module zero, which is resources, I will show you. Module one, just like the canvas, this is where you do your work. Module two, module three, module four, and module five. For now, the only thing that we are really concerned with is module one. But what do you find under module zero? Let me quickly show you. Resources, like what? This is your text. Which is put together by the campus and some of the sections are moved and it's based on this text. Why do I have both of them? Because if you click on this one, the online version, it's easier to navigate. And the only thing is uh, the text here may be slightly in a different order, but it is absolutely the same text. Even if you look at the chapters, you see it's the same one, okay? It's just may have a slightly different order. So that's the text. And it is really a reference text because if you follow my PowerPoints, the video assignments here, you will nail the homework and you nail the exam that may be good enough. The very first thing I put for you here is a bunch of 
calculators, online calculators, because I don't believe students should pay for anything. Here's one graphing calculator. Here's another graphing calculator. Here's a scientific calculator. All of them for free, okay? All of them for free. All right. Then how do you use a late pass, calendar, grade book? Uh, you can watch those <coughs> videos to find out. The thing I wanna explain is the grade book. If when we are done with something and we wanna review that, you can click on the grade and review that, okay? Especially if it's uh, an exam and it's expired, you can review that. Then uh, more of free online calculators and their playlist if you wanna watch videos to see how they work, okay? So what is module zero? Tons of resources. You start with module one. So you click on the chapter, when you open it up, notice what happens. First and foremost, it gives you the learning objective. Then it tells you if you wanna read, you can go to this section. Again, you probably don't need that. Then look at this, you have a bunch of video lessons. I promise you, if you watch these video lessons and then you go to your assignments, you probably don't need to follow the text. You may not even need to watch some of the PowerPoints. This takes you to a lesson and I don't want to, you know, because they may start with advertisement. I don't want to go there, but you want to check them out. I highly recommend that. And this video assignment, take a look at how it works. First, you have a video. Welcome to a lesson on the Cartesian plane. In this lesson... Okay, so the Cartesian plane is explained, and then you have a question. Another video and then you have a question. I hope you see how easy it is to watch those videos and answer those questions. I'm gonna go back. So I would watch these videos, then I would do the video assignment, and then this practice assignment, notice what happens here. When you want to do this, some of these assignments, for example, the first one, it also has a video. In order to plot points on the coordinate plane as we... Okay. The second one also has a video. But the third one doesn't have a video. So some of them have videos. So... To quickly recap, home page of Canvas, you go to modules, right here, you register with mom or my open map. You do the first assignment, that is introduction to my open map. You have the exams you're ignoring for now. Homework, clustered together, please do them on a daily basis. Every day, do one section. Module zero, tons and tons of resources, including the text. The first module, the first section, I would start with the videos. If you want, you can do the reading here, or you can watch my PowerPoints under the modules. Watch these videos, do this video assignment, do this homework. So 
a quick recap of the homepage you can find. The welcome message, the philosophy, announcements. Under number four, you can find the syllabus, modules, all the way to the discussion forum and attend the office hours if you need help. I wish you all best of luck and happy studying everybody.